Hey there, Kenny Jang here. Wanted to share with you a workflow that I'm using for creating images with uh, Ideogram, which is a great tool. They have a library of pre-designed images by other users that you can go through and then look at the actual prompt that was used to create it. And then you can use uh, these options on the side called Remix. And basically it allows you to take the prompt and modify any portion of it and then tell the model how much of the original image you want it to mimic like what's the weight of that prioritization to make it look exactly like it or have some flexibility and uh, there's some other things that you can do here but basically you create a new image and this is what I created so success on top and then I wanted a bunch of things below now there's a couple of things that didn't come out perfectly. Usually, uh, Ideogram is really good with text in general, uh, but just didn't want to try to generate it again. So I downloaded this image, and then what I'm going to do now is go into my Canva account. I'm going to create a design, import the file, and bring in the image. And then what we're going to try to do is, let's use this in a new design. And then we're going to try to modify the text. So uh, we have this piece over here. What I'm going to do is click on this. I'm going to do edit photo. It should bring up um, this these magic AI tools here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic eraser. And I'm going to see the brush size. You can change the brush size. You can see large or small. And so I'm going to do it about that that much because that's about the size of the text and then I'm gonna actually should I, let's see if we can uh, delete just some of these and it should just take it out and replace it with uh, something that's inspired by things around it and let's see what happens here and as you can see, it disappears. Now, what I actually want to do is I'm going to just replace all of it. So I'm going to take that all out. Didn't like the font that was used. And see, and now you can see even if you blow it up, um, it took it out pretty nicely. So what this allows me to do now is just use the text here and I can use any of the templates that they have or I'm just going to take one version that they have already probably make it smaller and um, and just edit collaboration relationships maybe we make this a little bit smaller 35 points um, okay deep work fail forward what else should we have um, there was a whole bunch of list uh, abundance mindset again so we'll, let's make this even smaller and then let's like the line spacing go further Okay. Uh, what else can we put here? What What are the factors of success? There was a whole article that we were discussing, and this is coming out of that. Um, so, uh, collaboration, deep work, niching down, and then um, there was one more. Let's remove that line. Relationships, niching down, taking risks. I actually want to take this, let's put it up forward. Okay, so there you have it. Now I can just output this and you have a successful AI image that was generated. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this is helpful for you uh, to stack different AI tools together into a workflow.